What's up and welcome back, O-Doers. Today, we're gonna create an appraisal and go through the flow to see what appraisals are like for both employees and their managers. So follow along as we walk through one of the most important tools for employee growth and development, the annual appraisal. Let's get into it. Okay, here I am on the main appraisals dashboard. I have to share some excellent news about Anna Foster. She's been such a superstar salesperson and we're promoting her to the sales manager position so she can manage her own sales team. Great work, Anna, but before we move her to our new role, we want to complete her appraisal for her current position so she can start off her new role with an appraisal schedule according to her start date. Since she hasn't been due for her regular scheduled appraisal, I'm just going to click new in the upper left-hand corner to create one for her. I'll start by selecting her in the name field up top. And once I do that, the manager job position, and department fields are auto-populated. Down below, this appraisal date field is pre-populated with next month's day. That's because Odoo is giving me time to complete the appraisal as well as her on her end. But I want to start this today, so I'm going to change this appraisal date field to February 20th today. This next appraisal date field here is pre-populated according to the appraisal schedule because appraisals are automatically scheduled according to the schedule in the settings. So I'm just going to click confirm. And the appraisal is ready to be worked on. And this appraisal smart button here up top is updated to reflect the new appraisal. When I click this appraisal smart button, take into a view that shows her past and future appraisals. So I'll just go back to the dashboard by clicking on this appraisals breadcrumb here at the top. And I can see that Anna's appraisal is now scheduled right here. Now I'll wait for her to fill out her portion of the appraisal and then I can do mine. When doing an appraisal, I like to hear from people's coworkers to get a better sense of who they are and how they interact with them. The appraisals app makes it super easy to do that. All I have to do is click on this Ask Feedback button to send this 360 feedback survey out. The survey is pre-configured, so you don't have to make one from scratch, but keep in mind you need both the appraisals app and the surveys app to request feedback. Let's quickly see what questions we're asking by clicking this internal link button here next to the 360 feedback survey template. And okay, looks short and sweet. I like it. So let's go ahead and close this out and send it off. Next, I'll select what employees I want feedback from here in the recipients field. In this case, I want her fellow salespeople. So let's ask Charlene. We'll also ask Wanda, Val, and Javier. Perfect. I can also change the default answer deadline if I wanted to but I'll give them a few weeks to finish this. So I'll put two weeks from today. Then I'll click send and off it goes. In the meantime, I was notified that Shannon Pines finished her portion of the appraisal. So it's time for me to go in and do mine. So I'm just gonna open Shannon's appraisal card and now I can review her answers here in the employee feedback section. Wow. Looks like she has a lot of good feedback for me about her growth with custom carpentry projects. Before I enter my comments, I wanna check out the feedback I requested from Shannon's coworker. So I'm just gonna scroll back to the top of this page and I'm gonna click on the feedback smart button that has three out of three employees completed. Let's take a look at Joanne Timbers card right here. After we click the see answers button, we're taken to a brand new tab and here I can see all of Joanne's answers. Good, great, glad to hear she's great to work with. Now it's my turn to enter my feedback. Good thing I already have it all typed out because I don't want you to watch me type out all my compliments for 20 minutes. All right, now that I have my feedback all typed and written out for Shannon, it's time to go ahead and submit her star evaluations. So for stress resistance, she's actually really good at this. I'll give her five stars for that, as well as time management, teamwork, Give her four stars for autonomy and proactivity is a five star as well. All right, now I'll click this not visible to employee toggle 
which makes it now visible to employees. Now Shannon can read all the nice things I said about her. Moving along, we have the skills tab. So let's go ahead and click into this here. Here I can see all of her current skills. Just a reminder, these are the skills that are also listed on Shannon's employee profile. Since all Odoo apps communicate with each other, when I modify or add skills here, it'll also be reflected in the employee's app too. Shannon took a safety class, so I'm gonna update her safety practices skill from 80% to 100%, which will make her an expert. Now, in the justification field here on the right, I'll type in took safety course. Nice. Okay, next let's jump into the private note tab here. And on this tab, I can leave a note that is visible to only other managers. Shannon can't see this, so I'm just gonna write a quick little message here to the other managers. Shannon has manager potential. Shannon. Okay, now that I have everything gone over, it's time for me to submit my final rating. Here in the final rating field, I'm gonna put strongly exceeds expectations. Now all I have to do is mark this as done. And that's how you make and complete a new appraisal. Tune in to our other appraisal tutorials where we dive deeper into individual appraisals, goals, reporting, and more. See you in the next video.